We've got the capo on fret five for hello in there, and we're going to play chord shapes in the key of G. And it's John Prine's favorite Travis picked style of accompaniment. And I'm going to say again, as always with John Prine, that you don't need to feel that you must follow the exact note that he's playing. Set up the regular bass, and you'll find that really anything you play with your fingers will sound good. There are three sections to the song. We need to learn the introduction, the verse, and the chorus, and then you've got the whole song. Let's start with the introduction. The first two bars that you see on your tab, which then repeat, so it's the first four bars, sound like this. And repeat. So we've got a G chord where we're playing six, two, four, three, six, two, four, three, to an A minor chord, five, two, four, one, five, two, four, one. It's, it's a slow four beats to the bar, but with a lot of activity in each beat. One E and a two E and a three E. standard D7 chord where he's going to play 4, 2, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 1 but open and then 4, 2, 3, 1 back at the second fret, 4, 2, 3 and anything you like. This is probably the second string open because you'll be moving back to the G chord again. It's the same rhythm as the previous bar. Repeat those two bars. The next bar written on your tab is bar three, B minor over D. Now, he's playing this B minor chord, normally it would be like that, but he's playing it as a three finger chord, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and using the open D as the bass note, and playing. So it's four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, open, four, two, three, one, back at the second fret, four, two, three, and again, two, probably open as you're moving into the next chord. At bar four, it's a C chord. Now, John Prine likes to do this type of hammer-on a lot. He hammers the bass note on this C chord open to third fret. I tend to find I'm hammering into the whole chord. And then three, the bass on this Travis pick goes five, three, five, three on a C chord. So, so hammer, three, one, five, two, three. Pinch five and one and again, hammer five, uh, five and two and hammer five. Three, one, five, two, three. And again, probably two open as you move to the next chord. So one E and a two E and three E and a four E and a. The G chord in the next bar, bar five. He's gonna play the sixth string, but again, he'll hammer into that bass note on the third fret. Four, two, six, three, four, Pinch six and three, four, two, six, three, four, two. One E and a two E and three and a four E and a. Once again, though, I'm going to say a standard pattern would work just as, just as well if you don't want to worry about the difference in the pattern at that point. Now we want D over F sharp, a D chord, plus the thumb hooked over on the second fret of the sixth string. Six, three, four, pinch six and three, four, six and three hammered, hammering the third, four, two, six, three, four, one E and two and three E and a four E and. And that's the last.
last chorus before the G chord that starts the verse. So let's play the whole of that introduction again. Mm -hmm. 